So uh, let's get started. The first thing we I'm going to do is I put a magnet on the door switch to pull the step in. Then that's not in your way when you're trying to work. Okay, now we're going to uh, start disconnecting all the power. Make sure your battery switch is on off. step cover remove your battery box cover I'm just gonna leave this out here because we have to remove those things from it all right then we just pull these out Now a 13 millimeter socket. Um, grab these. Okay, I like to treat every connection. Oh, I'm gonna need a wrench. to treat every one of these connections like they are um, um, like they're hot so when you're touching the positive um, you know I treat it like it's hot but the very first cable that you want to disconnect is the coach negative cable And that you can tell it's the coach negative because it goes back in and it hooks into the battery box. Okay, then and we're going to be disconnecting all of these cables. And then here it and I'll, I'll go ahead and disconnect this other negative. has the Sterling uh, DC to DC charger temperature sensor where we're going to be replacing the Sterling with a 50 amp DC to DC charger so uh, we won't be reusing that that'll get abandoned in place And you always want to be careful when you're dealing with um, with the positives because you know as I said you you know they're basically hot if they're connected to the battery so you don't want any metal to come in contact with those. You want to be very careful as you're removing everything. Okay, I will um, go to the positive. Make some room. And 
Now you have a Victron Smart Shunt connected. Yep. Okay, as I said, I treat all these like they're hot cables, so I'm going to put it on one of these uh, terminal covers from the Lithionics battery on the ends just to protect in case there is some voltage. Now, um, the solar, do you have a solar cutoff switch? Yes. Okay, we need to cut that off okay. to the battery. Okay, let's do this last cable. cable wasn't very tight. That's one thing I find on these Dragonfly batteries, or basically on the Leisure factory installed batteries, the battery cables aren't always tight, which of course is a, a big issue um, because, you know, if the connections aren't tight, then you're going to get a voltage drop. You're not going to get good performance from your batteries. hardware back on the uh, battery terminals. Okay, so we've got all the batteries disconnected. Next thing we gotta do So now we're going to uh, disconnect the power wires uh, for the battery heaters, for these Dragonfly battery heaters. Leisure installs a switch and a special power feed because you have to turn these off and on, which is a hassle. The Lithionics battery has uh, internal automatic heater, so you don't have to fool around with anything like that. It's smart enough to take care of itself. Uh, it reads, you know, the outside temp, or, you know, the temperature of the bat, the interior of the battery, and it maintains its own temperature. Um, so that's a great feature. So we'll be taping these up because they're actually only hot when you have the switch on. Uh, and so we won't be using that switch anymore. Uh, there's, there is an interior fuse for this uh, power. It's under the, um, uh, I believe it's under the uh, driver's seat, driver's dinette seat in the RL. Um, so if you wanted to, you know, pull that switch, my guide, uh, pull that fuse, my guide tells you, uh, gives you an idea of where that fuse is if you want to pull the fuse and completely kill the power. But we're just going to be abandoning that in place because we'll no longer need it. 
it's all taped up so it's safe and now we can get these batteries out of here you want to do the honors you can turn that on so here's what here's what we have on the inside of the battery we're going to be removing this um, Victron shunt because we don't need that with the Lithionics battery. Again, the Lithionics battery has its own Bluetooth uh, in internal highly accurate battery monitoring system. So we'll remove that. Uh, here's your mega fuse panel. It's got all your fuses in it. Here's a little legend here that tells you what each fuse does. We don't need to do anything with that. Um, so we have the power disconnected from the coach the battery power is gone all right 